We encourage what should not be encouraged. We discourage the things that should be encouraged. Contentment is of the heart. Is the secret of inward peace. When you see a man that is not ruffled by anything happening around him, you have seen a man that is content. It's the source of inner peace. And contentment reiterates again to us the truth that we brought nothing into this world and we would definitely take nothing out of it. Contentment says to us nothing lasts forever. The things you have now, you won't have them forever. The things you lack now, you won't lack them forever. Everything in life is transient. Everything in life has a time that it will be. There is no situation confronting you that you cannot go through. There's no situation confronting you. There's no situation confronting me that I cannot go through. In the strength of God, we can all make it through any situation. In the strength of God, we can all live happy lives in the face of different circumstances. In the strength of God. When you feel like you are not getting what you expect to get and then you want to run mad because of that, then it shows that you are already in the prison of discontent. This get rich quickly syndrome. That is one of the fallouts of lack of contentment. Ritual killing. They started with Yahoo, 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 Yahoo. Now it's Yahoo, Yahoo Plus. They added plus to it. Corruption of all sorts. And the society is not helping matters. Otherwise, why will you see grown up adults that will carry potty to the road? They will sit on the road, they will pull, and then they are eating bread with it because they want to make money. And we see it on videos. And yet that city is governed by someone. There's a sitting governor and the governor will do nothing about it. Probably because it's the Yao Yao boys that finance their political ambitions. I saw one the other day, about three of them, they were wearing pampas. They wore pampas, nothing else. And then they carried bag and they went to an ATM to go and withdraw money because somebody told them if you go there dressed like, like a baby, the ATM will dispense money for free. And then they lined up with normal human beings and nobody could beat them up. I mean, under normal condition, when you see an adult wearing pampas, what will you say? You say something is wrong with his head. They should have chained them down. But people stayed on the line with them. Why, why would parents indulge their children? The other day I traveled to Delta State and we lodged in a hotel and these young, young boys, 16, 17, and they filled that place in exotic cars, carrying girls. The owner of the hotel, why should you collect money from them to give them accommodation? Why? A 16-year-old boy coming in um, maybe a Ferrari, carrying girls, and then you're collecting money from them to give them accommodation, give them hall for this school. Why? And parents, you can't trace your child to a particular job, yet that child is bringing money to you and you're collecting it from them. Why, why do we do that? Why can't we teach them to learn to be content. That lack may just be to preserve your life. May just be to preserve your life. Now we, we have a growing number of betting platforms in Nigeria. One expert, two experts, Baba Ejebu, Baba Eba, all manner of things. Why do you think they are all growing? Because people are in a hurry. They're in a hurry. Betting platform is not a trading platform. It's gambling. You can, you can, you can.
can't go to God and say to God, come to the altar and say, God, number three, number seven, and number ten, bless it. Let it. <laughs> can, will you do that? So why can't you do it? Because it's not right. There are other trading platforms you can engage. See, the people that floated this betting platform, they don't even bet. In case you don't know, they don't bet. Oh. They don't bet. And strange enough, they make the larger chunk of their money from the poor. From the poor. How many 1x bet shops have you seen in Asoko? Or Maitama? Go to Guagua Karimu. <laughs> Go to Nyanya, Maraba. You will see them line up like this. That's where they make their money because that's where people that are in a hurry to get rich, that's where they stay. You don't understand. I'm yet to see one person that hit a jackpot in a betting game that has sustained that wealth. They end up dying bankrupt. Your salary in a month is 15,000. Be content. Think of a profitable way to multiply. Don't go and put it on one X bet. What are you looking for? You want 10,000 to become 1 million. Oh, linear. Godliness. With contentment. is a great thing. What you lack today, if you can be patient, and you can follow principles, you can follow the word of God, you will have it in abundance too. You will. So there's nothing you are hurrying about. Nothing you are hurrying about.